when you have a more well-rounded life, it doesn't take away, it doesn't distract you as an athlete. It makes you stronger and better and able to have a clear mind when you get the opportunity to line up. Twenty twenty, in hindsight, you know there were just so many decision points where things veered off track from what I expected. The Tokyo Games chief says next year's Olympics will be cancelled if the coronavirus pandemic is not brought to a halt. At least forty-nine deaths, all schools closing, and a growing number of states. Millions of students. As the race progressed, the field began to split. But it was disaster for Courtney in lap three. A crash. Several health experts have cast doubt on plans to hold the games in July and August of 2021. In the spring, we were kind of gearing up. I was actually, you know, pretty well into my build and excited to see how my form would be for the Olympics uh, when things quickly came to a halt uh, due to the coronavirus pandemic. We are left kind of at home in quarantine and continually, you know, trying to stay ready to get ready, basically. In a matter of a couple days, her entire training plan and everything that was motivating her got flipped upside down. So she had to figure out, in the absence of any certainty whatsoever about when I'm going to race my bike next, what do I do and how do I stay motivated? There were definitely silver linings to all the challenges of 2020. And honestly, the biggest one was us getting to spend as much time together as we did. We spent a couple weeks up in Tahoe. We did some great trips up in the La Sierra. I'm gonna look back really positively on a lot of the things that we were able to do together in 2020, despite all of the challenges that came along with that. There are a lot of little things that I think have impacted my mental approach this year. One of them is getting my dog, who I think does a really good job of bringing me back to the present moment and putting training in perspective. When I get back from a four and a half hour ride and I hit my power numbers and I'm feeling good about it and I walk in the door, I don't keep thinking about that. I check the box and I open the door and my puppy is there and really excited to see me and I kind of move into the next part of my day and the next role in my life of being a partner and a dog mom and, you know, doing all these things that are part of a healthy and normal and balanced life. Heading into this Olympic year, the second, uh, the second time preparing for the Olympics, I feel completely different. I think I'm in a much more relaxed headspace. That's something that in this type of a season can be a huge advantage. And I think I needed that kind of break from racing and that perspective to see that I can have a more relaxed, but equally disciplined and focused approach. When you have a more well-rounded life, it doesn't take away, it doesn't distract you as an athlete. It makes you stronger and better and able to have a clear mind and a really clear motivation when you 
get the opportunity to line up.